Yo, what's going on guys, Crypto Courier, back in the video, and yes, if you care, the webcam is not working, it's not working, I don't know what's wrong with it, I don't know if you can see me, I doubt you can see me, check on OBS, I can't see stuff, I gotta fix it, probably fix it by Sunday, because tomorrow we got no video, so, yes, you read the title right, Porsche is dropping an NFT collection, and I'll get to that first. Obviously, they're dropping their own NFT collection. Obviously, when these Web2 big projects make it, the first thing that should come to your mind is easy flips, easy money if you get that whitelist. The only problem is getting the whitelist is the most difficult part. It's so difficult. Why do they make it so difficult? So, oh, I'm going to talk to you about it right now. So, let's go. First things first. Obviously, we talk about the Porsche NFT launching soon. Get ready for the Porsche NFT universe. By joining this email waitlist, you'll be among the first invited to join the Porsche NFT universe and receive updates like official date of launch, newest future release, and NFT drop, and more. So, you just put in your email address, you check this off, submit it, and you're good. You're good. You can literally be part of probably one of the next most hyped up NFT parties, mainly because it's one of the biggest biggest web two brands out there porsche i mean everybody knows porsche literally everybody knows what a porsche is i hope so so you know what it's gonna be an easy flip it's uh, right after you get the mint easy flip maybe you could buy more i don't know man i don't know it's whatever you want to do so i obviously want to bring into reference to other collections that did drop there are car brands and part of the web two brand that are very big so we saw mclaren drop their own collection so they dropped only a 2k collection though so Right now, they're sitting at a low floor price, obviously, because you should not be holding these for really long term. When it dropped, one ETH. One ETH floor price has been too much since it dropped. One ETH floor price, and from then, it just steady downtrend, steady downtrend. Until today, when we did see some people pick up some rares, like someone bought a 6.66 ETH. Porsche Rare, which is like insane. I don't know why you... Crazy, man. Crazy. So, obviously, the floor price goes down. Even if we do look at the Audi collection... This is the Audi collection. We can look as the activity drop. It did drop there on like a 0.2 at one point. They hit all the way up to like 0.3. And then it went down from there. So these collections are really not meant to be held for that long. They're just whatever. They're like, obviously, some of these do but I give you a lot of good utility, but it's just not worth it. You, If you want the utility like alpha and stuff like that, you are better off finding an actual good place that provides you to like an actual alpha group that can give you tools as well i i just don't see the purpose of doing these web 2 brands it just doesn't make any sense to me i'm not a fan i just would rather flip these easily make that money like that so next project you got for is called mongrel breeding program i'm gonna bring where we're cultivating the vibe culture streetwear music bevies everything 100 percent me own share the vibe share the bag so the discord is open 15k followers they dropped an airdrop today, which was crazy. I signed up to it. I'm sorry I couldn't get it to you by tonight. I literally saw it in like two hours. I signed up for their job and I got a free airdrop. And I don't know. I don't know for 100% how this project is. I just saw it today. I thought I'd bring attention. The art looks pretty dope. They did drop their airdrop. Obviously, you could sign, you could have signed up for here. And if you did, whatever it was a free air job nothing really crazy going on with it it looks like a solid project the art does look nice really i'm kind of a fan of it to be honest i feel like this could be up there if it starts to catch more attention and if this air job comes out of something pretty cool it'd be pretty nice to see that so really nothing crazy about this project yet. honestly i don't know that much about it all i know is it just dropped a free air drop today which is nice to see a lot of people love when something free like that just comes out it's cool to see you know what i'm saying so it's whatever it's just a, a new kind of a new project i just came across it now so yeah, yeah, do what you want with this information next is modiverse soon web2 native p2l person development brand becoming a fud free and web3 space with nft collectibles animated series interactive learning program and more so there's also fresh project 3.6k followers as long as it's been out for that long they just posted nine hours ago and this looks pretty dope. honestly it looks pretty cool kind of looks like a cartoon vibe to it and if they are saying they want to have an animated series I, it'd be pretty successful but this is like i think it's like an interactive learning program if this could be like the first nft thing like this is a bit of a stretch but if this could be like one of the first nft projects that has an interactive game where kids can play this could be something very big but obviously it says right there play to learn i'm pretty sure so this could be a very big pro project if this happens but obviously with small project like this you got to be careful because they can't always promise everything just like what meta pizza did 
It's just sometimes a bunch of malarkey, you know what I'm saying? So just keep an eye out for this project. Could be something big, could not. Honestly, I, I kind of have high hopes for this project. Next, Freeman Pass, Freeman Pass. I talked about this part before. I just thought I'd bring to your attention that they are launching a premium raffle. And if I were you, I would 100% try to get into it. I mean, I feel like this could become one of the easiest flips of your life if you do get a whitelist just from going into a premium raffle. I did talk about it before. So I'm not going to spread that much light about it. All of this is pretty much a Freeman Pass where you pretty much just get whitelisted basically to all the next biggest Freeman projects. And what would be very good to see is if this has a limited supply, like no more than i hope 2000 it could be much easier for you to get whitelisted honestly even a free mint pass when it's only dedicated to free mints i think there should not be more than a thousand even 500 honestly even 300 there should not be more of because you're going to want to keep it limited so most of your community is getting them whitelist and it'd be a very good community as well so why not try to enter this free mint you could get a whitelist and then you could easily make a flip off of this one if you really want to flip it now we look at the market analytics we can see just absolute pure poo poo pp once more it continues to go down as well bitcoin under 20k again and ethereum is almost at that 900 mark which is nice to, not nice to see obviously and from the dip we do see the nft market go down as today we only saw 15 million dollars in volume which is absolutely trash it's absolutely trash and today's starting off at 1 million. So, I mean, flipping opportunity is not there unless they're free mints. The possessed drop today, honestly, did not even know. I've not been in touch with this project, mainly because I saw that there was way too much hype around this project. So when you see like the... I, I think, honestly, if you really want to, you could possibly just buy one, buy one now. And I wouldn't be surprised to see this make a 2x suit. Obviously, not financial advice, not something I would do, but I honestly wouldn't be surprised to see this 2x. I, I don't know. I, I just knew this project wasn't going to perform well because there's way too much hype around it. I know that there's too many flippers in this project who thought this is going to be like the next biggest blue chip project. And honestly, was not that surprised to see it come out as only a 0.6 floor price. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. They just I just knew this was going to happen. I could have predicted it. I just didn't want to fight it. And no one probably gonna believe me. Obviously, since we saw a low day, we did see board Ape go down a bit, other side go down a bit, Mutinave go down a bit, and a lot of other projects slowly go down a bit. Nothing really performing well, nothing going crazy. We do see God NFT that that did go up just a bit. And the clone AI collection, it was an easy 0.01 if you were able to get in. So nothing really, really crazy happening in the NFT space. So goodbye, good loves you. I love you, good day, good night, and goodbye.